Kumalo. And over here, we call ourselves the Fine Babe Gang and the Sun Period, honey. Guys, first things first, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for 80 subscribers. Like, oh my God. Guys, wow. I cannot believe this. Like, we are really growing, like, day by day. Beggily, beggily. We are hitting milestones and danko so guys now we are hashtag on the road to 90 subscribers so please do make sure that you like comment share and also subscribe to my channel so um yes guys if you're a new subscriber hey darling i hope you're gonna enjoy here and i hope you're gonna take this place as your home now over here it's fun it's vlogs try and host conversations um and and so today i've got a very exciting video i am going to be filming a video based on makeup okay this is hashtag the beauty corner today i'm going to be mainly focusing on the importance of having your, your, your base prep before you do your makeup and also i will be giving you guys tips and tricks of how to make your makeup or your foundation rather last long when you're going to be wearing it if you hamba some way so if you want to see how i'm going to transform to this to something more beautiful huh? once i do my face please do make sure to stick around and watch this video until the very last part this video is fairly and solely going to be about the importance of having your base prepped and also the importance and the tips and tricks of how to make your foundation last longer so without any further ado let's go straight to so i just went off cam and i did my eyebrows and i also did my eye my eyeshadows i did some wing liner because one thing about me i will never do my eyebrows on camera guys like never because i feel as if i haven't got to the level where i can like do my eyebrows on camera and be confident about them because is she a lisangeniza guys so no ways <laughs> so um jingo mangshilo guys the main focus of this video is for me to tell you or show you guys the importance of prepping your base which is your face before you put on foundation and also for me to share with you the tips or other tricks that i have learned from other youtubers see how can you make your foundation last longer so yeah the main focus of the video is all about foundation not the eyebrows and the eyeshadows and and so that's on pro okay guys so it's my first time doing a video like this, so I don't even know where I'm gonna position my, my mirror because when I do my makeup, I'm trying to be booger. This is my mirror, by the way. So, hey, I'm having so speaker, but I will try and alternate between watching you guys and watching myself on the mirror. I don't know how this is gonna work, but um, I do hope that it does work. Okay, so first things first. Um, as I was saying, it's about to have your face to be prepped up before you do your makeup. Um, I don't know if you're gonna, but I'm kind of sweating because it's kind of hot. But yeah, okay, guys, can I get a moment of silence for my eyeshadows, guys? I'm not one who likes like doing um color when it comes to eyeshadows because I feel as if I'm gonna be pro when it comes to doing my eyeshadows. So like, ish, I'm kind of skeptical about it. But guys, anyways, anywho, um, the importance of having your base very very like good <laughs> before you do makeup is because if like let's say you a moisturizer which can be or which can be like your face cream or maybe you can just really welcome most of the primer it's important to moisturize before you apply foundation because it's to be it's more like it's, it's more like going to be the first layer on your skin so if your first layer on your skin is soft and it's moisturized then if you have foundation it's going to be more easy because the foundation will be more able to be like fully blended on your skin and the foundation can be able to have like a very nice soft satin finish you get me correct oh guys that makes sense but then yeah i'm seeing makeup pro guys but now me i'm just telling you what i learned from youtube because i learned my makeup from youtube and guys if i can show you the pictures of my makeup um in 2020 I can't turn to do any makeup like we found it even on YouTube. And if I can show you guys the pictures of my previous makeup. Hi. Hi, Bandla. Hi. But anyways, so before I actually put on any makeup on my face, I like prepping my face with um my body lotion. We said we said a lotion for my body and also for my face. So I'm going to be with my lotion. And then I go ahead and find a primer. I bought this primer in Mr. Price. It has scarlet tail. It was only 60 Rand. 
but i'm planning on buying a new primer again but i'm still not sure which primer to buy so if guys you know of any good primer that i can buy please comment down below on the comment section um already missing to be loose up with my body lotion so now i want to put on some primer Okay, okay, okay. Now that we are done moisturizing our faces and applying primer, we need to move on to the second step. So, I normally apply my makeup using um, a beauty blender or a foundation brush. I have two foundation brushes and they are very different, I like to think. Um, this one I bought it recently from Evo Pipe, it was 35 Friend. This brush is more. I bought it for Shein. I bought a pack of brushes from Shein last year. I'm Nini. Oh, I'm working. So yeah, I have these two foundation brushes that I use. So I like using this one as a face. So I'm gonna use this one to actually put on my makeup. So I saw this trick from Miss XO. I love Miss XO by the way. I always watch her YouTube channel. So I was watching her updated makeup foundation routine. I do the same thing. I take it, nifage on my hand. I slosh it like this. Oh, not too much, guys. And then I take the very same brush and I apply it just like that. Um, next step, we are going to take your compact powder. Hi, boo, not compact powder. You're going to take your translucent powder. Um, you see, I just dabbed it. And you dab it on your hand like this. 
and then you debit again i'm going to be mean cool but just have a few and then you're now going to blend your face with your brush which has like um the compact powder and your foundation and your concealer that's the trick of how your makeup is going to stay longer but then let me not talk too much let me blend this face child <laughs> foundation and also concealer and then i put on trusses and powder and i blended the whole shebang important tip do not put foundation under your eyes because mm -mm, it's gonna make you look crazy it's gonna look insane let me tell you okay so now it's time for me to put on concealer put on concealer and basically sculpt my whole face because i look like a, a monster right now i look insane mm. Mm. okay guys so now it's time for me to put on concealer i use these two concealers from la girl pro i use this dark one for like contouring my face and then i use this one i did show you guys previously the la girl pro in the shade fawn i bought it at this cam so I'm going to put it on the high points of my face so I can be able to put on some color and dimension on my face.
brush but I like to first blend with the beauty blender make sure it is damp you know so yeah let me blend 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 remember when you're blending you don't swipe you dab correct <laughs> and I blended everything so now I am I have my face blended contour contour everything is like here so now it's time for me to set my concealer every time you do your makeup you always have to close off with something which is going to be um, powder so I set using this um, translucent powder and now I'm about to set I used to bake but that used to make me look really cakey so now I always set Whenever I am like done putting on concealer, woo, having any hub, but then I just take a teeny bit, teeny bit here, and I use this kind of a brush. But it's important before you go and set, make sure what you uh you blend out your concealer. Now the use it till I do only crazy oh. It's very important to go back and then I do this. You think I'm so cold, Oh, 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 oh,
don't lie to me I want you to see what fall in love What makes you happy is what makes you drown But what you want and what makes you bad I'm giving a chance to make things right But just be honest for once in a while It was a part of a silly joke Well, listen for me, come stand the more Don't lie to me, don't lie to me I want you to see what fall in love What makes you happy is what makes you drown But what you want and what makes you bad I'm giving a chance to make things right But just be honest for once in a while It was a part of a silly joke Well, listen for me, come stand the more So now I'm going to put on some highlighter and some blush. I use this highlighter for my nose and also here. And I also use these colors for blush. Or maybe I can just, you know, opt for... I also have this palette. Um, I might try to use this color or this color for my blush. And when I like put on some blush, I normally use this fluffy brush for my cheeks. And when it comes to applying highlighter, like for my nose and over here, I use this fan brush. So what I normally do, I always start with uh, blush. Guys, one thing about me, I love blush. There's something about girls when they're wearing blush. And you don't remember your blush, guys. That's so period. So, what's currently in style? I've been seeing on YouTube on YouTube videos, with more especially like makeup YouTube tutorials. Um, many people are really gravitating towards um, putting on orange blush. I don't really have orange blush, so it's a bit of a problem for me. I only have like... Um, pink blush but i'm just gonna add you know what i'm gonna add these two colors and see you see what kind of blush can i possibly come out with so yeah <laughs>
of cam um i just finished putting on some blush and some highlighter so now oh also off camera i also did my lips i just put on some brown eyeliner like lining my lips and then i put on some um lip therapy because i have a wild eye line like in fact i said a a, a a colorful i can't put on a lipstick a colorful like no so now moving on to my favorite step it's time to set my face guys i always had a problem when it came to like finding the right um setting spray but um i got my hands on this setting spray it's from smudge it's a matte fixing spray for polished long lasting wear, makeup wear i think i've used it twice already and i can just say it with my chest this setting spray is bomb and it was only 60 rand it dies it clicks it's amazing guys so now it's time for me to set my whole face so I can lock all this makeup. All right. Ooh, I'm going to sound clear. I'm going to sound clear. So, yeah. Oh, guys, remember when you're setting your face, make sure that you close your eyes, then pop, 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 and then also pop, pop, pop. You get correct. Oh. Oh, no, guys. No, I'm missing a step. Guys, I forgot. I always put on my dots. Um, yo, uh -uh. I watch old channel Tori and Miss EXO. They always put on dots whenever they are done doing their makeup. Now, I just to know there's something missing, yeah. There's something missing. Like there was definitely something missing. So, um, but overall, I like how my my makeup looks. It's cute. Okay, guys, so now it's time for us to put on some setting spray. Okay. That's the not case. I'm a setting spray. Here go. Chile. Um, yeah guys this is my um video i hope that you guys are gonna enjoy this video but just, i actually enjoyed filming it but guys i will not lie you know before i myself became a content creator i never really like fully respect other content creators but guys now i'm saying with my chest i respect content creators because creating content guys is a lot of work a lot of energy a lot of prep you sometimes do content that doesn't look good. You have to delete, start afresh, again and again and again, and, and, and. Guys, respect content creators. This is a full-time job. I will not lie to you. Anyways, guys, so this was my, um, this basically is going to be called the beauty corner. So the, the purpose of this video was for me to show you guys the importance of, the importance rather, of having a good base before you apply your foundation. And the main aim for this video was for me guys to show you um, the tips or tricks that, that I learned of how to make sure that you your foundation stays longer. So yeah, the trick is you put foundation on your face using a brush and also apply concealer and then take your, your foundation brush and put on translucent powder and then blend your whole face off makeup and concealer using a foundation brush that has translucent powder on it. That's the trick of how to make your foundation stay for a long time. So um, guys, for me, to you, it's a goodbye. Thank you so much for watching my video until this far. I came up with this look. I hope that it looked pretty. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. <laughs> I'm gonna snap some pics for the gram because I think I look pretty. <laughs> so um yeah guys from me to you guys so goodbye. Remember you are a motherfucking queen and a motherfucking king and that's um period. So guys we're gonna see you next time on my channel. It can be a vlog, a sit down, a conversation segment or whatever. But then guys, um yeah, from me to you it's a uh, goodbye.